Hello guys this is Saruto Uchiha Storm here and welcome to my channel today I am doing what if Naruto was the Black Dragon Emperor please like and subscribe to my channel. Part 1, a great story begins, we see 4 people on what appears to be a large battlefield these people are having what appears to be a large scale battle since one of these people is a goddess her name is Kagaya Otsutsuki the mother of Chakra and the first person in the world to possess this powerful energy and is facing the three members of Team 7 which is confirmed by Sakura, Haruno, Sasuke Uchiha, and Naruto Namakase Uzumaki are fighting to end the war and bring peace to the world and for that, they must seal Kagaya. Naruto, come on, Sasuke, let's get this over with, he said, launching himself into the Otsutsuki. Sasuke, well he said with his typical dry and monotonous tone and doing the same as his partner. Sakura, don't forget about me he said jumping to a great height and then falling at high speed with his fist full of chakra managing to prevent Kagaya from escaping. But just when Naruto was about to touch her to complete the ceiling, the rabbit goddess used one of her greatest weapons, her Rinne Sharingan, with which she created a dimensional portal that began to absorb the young blonde. Kagaya, not so fast Ashura said and then sent to fly Sasuke H. Sakura away from her without you my plan to recover my power will be one step closer, he said and then hit the blonde making him not have. Sakura, Sasuke, Naruto said the two when they saw their friend being swallowed by that portal. Kagaya, now only your Indra is left, he said looking at Sasuke get ready, he said pulling out a kind of rod and was about to throw it at the Uchiha but she couldn't because she nodded as someone pushed her to the front. Hagoromo, it's not the time yet Masurei he said as he kept pushing his mother in the direction of Sasuke now Sasuke he said while showing the sun in his right hand to which the Uchiha he understood his plan and began to accumulate his chakra in his hand, allowing the moon to be seen and when Kagaya was within his reach, he touched it, managing to complete the ceiling, so that later all the bijus could be seen. Appear in front of everyone, well done Sasuke said but then saw Sasuke fall to the ground. Sakura, Sasuke-kun she said approaching the boy she loved so much come please resist she said using her medical ninjutsu but without any effect. Sasuke, Sakura don't waste your strength anymore she said stopping the pink haired girl I don't have a single bit of chakra in my body anymore she said looking at her friend. Sakura, please, you must help him he said looking at Hagoromo you are the most powerful man in the ninja world there must be something you can do he said while many tears fell from his eyes. Hagoromo, I'm sorry young lady but even I can't save him since I don't have a lot of chakras left to do it after all, that sealing technique is very powerful and requires a lot of chakra he said lowering his eyes. Sasuke, Sakura you have to be strong for Naruto and for me you understand you must live for us he said and then smile and look at the wise man Hagoromo sama I want him to do something for me he said and then the wise man turned to him Dako want that when I find Naruto I give him my eyes and Indra's chakra he said and then shook hands with the sage who nodded and you Sakura my last act Asia you maybe it's late but at least I want to do it before dying he said and then kissed the pink haired girl and died in her arms. Sakura, I promise I'll live for you she said as she hugged the body of the Uchiha Hagoromo sama now that she's plow said looking at the wise man. Hagoromo, I will go in search of the young Uzumaki to fulfill the last wish of the young Uchiha he said with a smile although I don't think that Naruto can return since I don't know how long it will take to find him besides that it may be in a dimension where time passes differently he said explaining the situation to the girl so I ask you to explain it to the others he said and saw how Sakura nodded but when he sage was about to leave he was stopped by the half of Kurama that was inside Kagaya. Kurama, old man takes me with you so I can be complete in Naruto said the giant fox. Matabi, also take this to the boy he said touching Kurama who was confused we decided to give half of our chakra to the boy so just accept it he said so that later the rest of the bijus will touch Kurama and he will shine an intense light and enter the body of the sage. Hagoromo, goodbye, my children, he said and then disappeared in a trail of light, leaving the bijus sad and Sakura who only held the body of her beloved. Void dimension. We see our favorite blonde floating in nothing while he is unconscious but suddenly he opens his eyes being very confused to see a whole world of darkness. Naruto, what happened where I am? Wondered the blonde am I already dead? He asked himself once again. Kurama, no but you almost made it boy the fox said to his container. Naruto, Kurama friend, I'm glad to hear your voice, friend he said smiling a little do you know where we are or how long I've been unconscious? Asked the blonde to his friend. Kurama, well, I don't know how long you've been unconscious since I also just woke up and where we seem to be in one of Kaguya's dimensions the fox said explaining the situation to his container. Naruto, I see, any idea how to get back home? asked the blonde. 
Karama, actually, that's not what you need the Rinne Sharingan or the Rinnegan of your Uchiha friend, the fox said giving the options. Naruto, then we won't be able to get out of here since I don't have any of the two, he said a little sadly, I hope all is well in my dimension he said as he remembered his friends. Hagoromo, oh, Naruto, I finally find you, it's been a few centuries said the wise man appeared out of nowhere. Naruto, Hagoromo Gigi he said with his typical carefree voice what are you doing here, have you come to take me back, asked the blonde with illusion. Hagoromo, I'm sorry Naruto but you can't go back to the elemental nations he said causing a great shock in the blonde. Naruto, what, but why can't I go back? He said a little upset. Hagoromo, you'll see, Naruto, as I said when I got here, centuries have passed since you disappeared. In this dimension, time runs slowly, but in the others, it moves very fast. Ten minutes here are ten thousand years in the elemental nations he said explaining the situation therefore you can't go back because there is nothing in that place for you anymore he said with a little sadness. Naruto, I see he said sadly but then what happened in the war asked the blonde. Haharomo, well, in the end, I had to use my last resort which was to interfere in the battle myself and with the help of Sasuke we managed to seal Kagaya but unfortunately, Sasuke died he said with some concern but before he died he made me promise that I would find you and give you this gift from him, he said touching the blonde's head, I have given you Indra's chakra and Sasuke's eyes which are already evolved until his maximum power although now that you have the chakra of my two children you can use all the elements of the chakra and now you have the Rinnegan in both eyes he said surprising Naruto. Naruto, you know that's great but what use would something like that be to me if I can't go back to my world anymore he said with many doubts. Hagoromo, well, I'll send you to another dimension where you can start over he said smiling at the blonde I'll send you to a dimension where the supernatural exists and is more common than you think, there you will find angels demons, and that kind of thing, he said surprising Naruto, also I will send you with your full chakra and with new clothes more appropriate to that world and by the way I will give you this, he said as he formed a sphere of white light in his hands. Naruto, what is that he said but then he saw how Hagoromo introduced the sphere in the place where the seal of the eight trigrams was located and Naruto began to shine and when the shine stopped Naruto had a new outfit. Hagoromo, with this, you will go unnoticed and what I gave you was the other half of Kurama's chakra that is combined with half of the chakra of the other bijus so when you get to the other dimension he advised you to check if something changed since Kurama is asleep in order to get used to the new power he said to which Naruto nodded, okay take this, he said giving him a ninja object holder a shuriken holder and kanai holder, a wallet full of money and a strange machine in the object holder there are scrolls about all existing jutsu, fuinjutsu, kenjutsu, history of that world, rules of that world, and things like that I gave you a wallet with a special stamp that creates money when you run out of it so you won't have to worry much about those things and a cell phone, I'll give you the knowledge of how to use it he said and then touched Naruto's head giving him the knowledge of how to use the cell phone. Naruto, wow, it seems that this world is very technological he said keeping the cell phone and putting on the object holders then I think I'm ready he said smiling at the wise man anything else I should know. Hagoromo, yes I almost forgot in that world the normal people can't use chakra but those who can use it don't use chakra if not magic so when you get there you will also have that energy he said without more and that will be all he said but was interrupted by another voice. Excuse me I couldn't help but listen to your conversation and I would like to offer something to this young man said the voice causing the blonde and the wise man to look at him noticing that it was a black sphere of light that was surrounded for a red aura. Part 2, The World of the Supernatural and a New Home we see in a kind of abandoned building a young redhead with blue eyes and white skin with a beautiful body and wearing what looked like a class uniform, the girl was looking out the window with a soft face of concern because not long ago they had informed her about a commitment that she flatly refused but she couldn't do much since they were orders from her parents. Rias, what am I going to do now said the redhead sighing maybe if I managed to get a strong ally I could get rid of this stupid commitment said the girl. Akano, Rias, what's happening to you, are you still thinking about what happened to the riser? Said a beautiful girl with an enviable body with long black hair that was tied in a ponytail with a ribbon. Yellow wore the same uniform as Rias and her eyes were purple. We should now focus on that boy, Issei Hiodo, the carrier of a sacred gear, he said, drawing the attention of the redhead. Rias, seriously they found a new sacred gear maybe that could be what will help me with this stupid problem he said with a little hope. Akano, it may be but there is a small detail and that is that the boy is a complete pervert and has had quite a few altercations with the girls from the kendo club and some more he said with a tender smile.
Rias, I see something we will think of at least I know it won't be difficult to convince him he said with a sigh of defeat I hope that sacred gear is strong at least he said and then looked out the window once more but he was surprised to see how a kind of crack formed in the sky and from there came a figure that he could not see since it hit the ground at high speed Akano calls the others so let's see what was that he said to then start walking in the direction of the impact site. Kuoh forest. We see how a blonde was surrounded by what looked like a cloak of white energy in the shape of a fox but it was quite small as if it were armor it was in the middle of a fairly large carter. Naruto, the old man asked to have warned me about what would fall from the sky he said as he undid the small layer of chakra that surrounded him I hope I haven't drawn too much attention he said as he looked around the place to locate myself a little it seems that I am in a forest I think I will use the sage mode to look for a town or something like that he said putting himself in a meditation pose and starting to collect natural energy which it was very fast wow it seems that the natural energy here is very pure. Zarko, that's due to the amount of magic found in the environment which purifies natural energy said the blonde's new tenant. Naruto, I see this will be very useful to me although I will have to practice it again since with so much natural energy in the environment I will have to get used to it again he said thinking about his next training by the way Kurama already woke up. Zarko, no, he's not awake yet, he must be very tired, he said calmly. Naruto, well let's let him rest for the moment asterisk he said and then began to concentrate and look for the energy of living beings, managing to find a large concentration of people I think there is a city close he said but then he felt a group of presences that were approaching him I better go he said deactivating the sage mode and hiding his presence and then went in the opposite direction from where the presences after a few minutes, the group of Rias arrived at the impact site, finding a large crater but there was nothing inside. Rias, Yudo looks for any clue that something or someone was here said the redhead to a blonde boy with a princess's face and who was wearing a formal suit. Yuto, hi Busho he said and then moved at a great speed. Rias, Kaniko look around she said to a white-haired girl who was wearing the same uniform as her. Kaniko, hi said with an expressionless face and started to search the place. Akano, what do you think happened here Rias said looking at the big crater. Rias, I don't know but it was something very powerful to leave such a crater she said while her hopes grew little by little and if it's a person I want her in nobility she said with a smile. After a while of searching, we see the Gremory group returning to the club building because they didn't find any clue that someone had been there, which disappointed the redhead a bit. With Naruto, we see the blonde walking through the city of Kuo while he sees with great surprise everything that is new to him such as technology and food until he realized something and it was that he did not have a place where life, therefore, decided to stop at a fast food stand and buy a hamburger. Naruto, excuse me by chance, you don't know where I can get a house or an apartment that is for sale, the blonde asked the seller while he ate his hamburger. Seller, well there is a house for sale near here he said trying to give directions first walk two blocks to the front and then turn left there you will find a house that has a sign that says for sale he said giving the directions. Naruto, thanks for the help how much do I owe you he said looking at the man. Seller, it would be 5 yen he said and saw how Naruto took out his wallet and gave him the money it was a pleasure to help you and have a good day he said with a smile. Naruto, thank you see you soon he said and then start walking after a few minutes he arrived at the house that the seller indicated go so this is the house it looks pretty good what do you guys say? Zarko, it looks pretty good and it's very big, maybe there you can keep everything that man gave you he said thinking about the possibilities. Karama, I agree with the new one, it doesn't look bad at all and it seems that it has a pretty good space to train a little dojo the great fox that woke up recently even though it might be better to train in its forest he said seeing that if he used too much power they could destroy the house. Naruto, I agree so I think I'll call the number on the sign he said taking out his phone and starting to dial the number after talking to the previous owner of the house he hung up ok she said she'll arrive in an hour so I'll wait for her here he said taking a book out of his ninja object holder that had the title, The Natures of Chakra, and at the bottom, it said, written by Hagoromo Otsutsuki, wow because it looks like that I thought he gave me scrolls said the blonde. Karama, well, maybe they look like books since there are no parchments here said the fox so settle for it. Naruto, well, it's the same anyway he said starting to read while sitting on the steps of the house, after one hour the woman who would show him the place arrived. Woman, good morning, young man, are you the one who called me to see the house? Asked the woman to our protagonist who only nodded and stood up. Woman, well Naruto-san please follow me she said as she went to the door of the house and then entered as you can see the house is already fully furnished and everything inside it will be yours if by the house he said entering next to the blonde first we have the living room he said showing the room. 
Naruto, it looks great I think I won't have to change any furniture he said as he looked at the furniture in the place. Woman, well, this house has been abandoned for almost four years, so I always had to send someone to do the proper maintenance, she said, smiling at the blonde, well let's continue with the kitchen and the dining room, she said, guiding the blonde to the kitchen. Woman, as you can see, the whole kitchen is equipped with everything you need and you don't lack space she said without further ado. Naruto, it certainly is a great kitchen he said looking at all the drawers. Woman, well, please let's see the rest of the house, she said, guiding the blonde to a corridor where there were two doors here are the bathroom on the first floor and the laundry room do opening both doors. Naruto, well, it's not bad at all he said taking a look at both sites what else is there? Woman, well let's go to the second floor she said as she guided the blonde to the second floor we have four rooms that have everything included, the bathrooms have the same design as the one on the first floor and they all have a large closet he said entering one of the rooms I advise you to keep this one he said showing the room. Naruto's room? Naruto, wow, it's very spacious he said looking at the big room and they all have a bathroom and that big closet, and right there is a pair on the third floor? Woman, huh? On the third floor is the study follow me she said starting to walk until they reached the top floor this is the study dojo opening the door letting Naruto see it. Kurama, wow, it's a perfect study so you can keep all your books and practice fuenjutsu without being interrupted said the fox already convinced of the place. Zarko, I agree to buy it boy he said inviting the blonde to buy the house. Naruto, you don't have to tell me twice the blonde said to his tenants well then where do I sign said the blonde to the woman. Woman, wow, I didn't think I was going to buy it at once, he said, then took out a folder with the documents of the house, but who am I to judge, he said, passing the papers to the blonde. After telling the woman that her things would arrive the next day, the woman left happy since she had finally been able to sell the house. On the other hand, Naruto created a group of clones and had them fix the studio where he put all his books, and then he created two clones with Henge that he sent to a supermarket to buy his prohibitions since he would not always eat junk food for a Kurama council, when finally they finished fixing everything Naruto took a bath and was amazed by the hot water and then he went to bed but before going to sleep he entered his mental space to see his tenants but when he entered he was shocked well Kurama was no longer orange but white with ten tails and on the tips of his tails and ears he had red and next to the great fox he had a dragon of the same size only it was black and seemed to have red gems on it the body. Naruto, Kurama what happened to you said looking at his friend. Kurama, well, it seems that when I merged with the chakra of my siblings and my other half, I became the Jubi he said calmly. Zarko, it's amazing how Kurama can rival Great Red just like I would even say he is more powerful than Great Red and Ophis combined, with some admiration. Naruto, and what level are you at? Zarko, well I'm at the same level as the Great Red and Ophis therefore I'm weaker than Kurama which makes him a primordial just like me he said very impressed. Naruto, go who would say Kurama you have the power of a god in this world said smiling. Kurama, and get ready Naruto because our training will turn you into someone very powerful he said with a smile well now go to sleep that your hell starts tomorrow. Naruto, hi Kurama sensei said and then disappear from mental space. Zarko, if you know that he is already so powerful that he could defeat the factions on his own, no said the dragon to his companion. Kurama, I know but don't be overconfident, he has a lot of potential that need to be exploited he said with a smile. End chapter 2. Part 3, Training and Kuo Academy. The next morning we see our blonde waking up in his new room, then he went to get ready to start with what would be his routine from now on, after showering and putting on some clothes. Comfortable clothes for breakfast which were tennis shoes and a black sweatshirt with orange lines since he found a storage scroll full of clothes from that world all in his size, after for breakfast he created 30 clones whom he put to study the books on economics, politics, law and everything he should know about that world since Hagoromo gave him books on that information and he took all the ones he would need to train. Naruto, well it's time to go he said and then took his wallet, his phone, and the keys to his house and headed towards the Kuo forest. Kuoh Forest. We see Naruto arrive at a clearing in the middle of the Kuo Forest that is a bit far from the city. Naruto, okay Kurama I'm here, what should I do? Said the blonde aloud to his tenants since he was alone. 
Karama, well boy we will start with something simple during the first month of your training you will create clones a group will stay at home studying everything related to this world and the Fuanjutsu, while another group will train chakra control and try to manifest magic, and finally you, being the original, will have to do the physical part so we will start with 30 laps around the city then you will come back here and do 4 repetitions of 500 squats, push-ups, and abdominals and that will be the first month he said with a slightly macabre smile. Zarko, wow, you take it very seriously, he said with a bit of doubt since he didn't think Naruto could handle all that I can only help you with the magic boy so work hard he said a little worried. Naruto, well here I go said the blonde creating 200 clones well let's start with the basics so divide into groups of 25 he said and the clones just obeyed well one group will take care of the climbing exercise trees, another about walking on water, another about balancing senbon he said, handing that group many senbon another will be in charge of walking on a waterfall while balancing senbons, another to separate different types of sand, another will be in charge of trying to manifest the magic, another will train the senjutsu leg so that it is easy easier and does not follow danger, another will be in charge of doing the exercises of the chakra nature and since there are 25 of them, divide into groups of 5 and each group try a different nature and the last two groups start reading the books on the chakra natures and the jutsus that he gave us Hagoromo Gigi he said giving the orders to his clones and then he's starting with his physical exercises. Karama, wow, I never thought he would know how to distribute his clones so well said the great fox. Zarko, well I agree even if I wanted to talk to you about something said the dragon taking a more serious posture. Karama, what is it about? asked the fox very confused. Zarko, this is the seal, he said as he watched a seal appear in front of them. Karama, that seal is to keep Naruto's Uzumaki genes hidden it was put on by a man named Danzo Shimura who wanted to use the boy as a weapon and believed that by keeping him weak he could achieve his commitment but never could said the fox explaining the situation plan to remove it after the war but I forgot he said with some doubt. Zarko, and why don't we remove it now? Karama, I think it would be better to wait until night since if we do it now he won't be able to move until tomorrow morning, so it would be better to do it at night when he rests said the fox to which the dragon he agreed well wakes me up when I'm done he said and went to sleep. After 5 hours Naruto finally finished and fell to the ground while gasping for breath. Naruto, finally finished now that Karama said the blonde waking up the fox and surprising the dragon. Zarko, wow, I didn't think you could do this type of training, he said with great admiration for his new trainer. Karama, and you finished in less time than I thought you impress me boy he said with a big smile well take a break and then repeat that same exercise as he said with a smile but he didn't hear any complaints from the blonde. Naruto, well let's take advantage of this break and tell me what we'll do in the next few months he said sitting down and taking out a bottle of water from his object holder. Karama, well, you know what we'll do in the first month he said and the blonde nodded well, in the second month we'll continue with what we're doing now but we'll add that you'll start learning jutsus and spells if by that time you have already awakened the magic that with the help of the shadow clones and in the physical part we will put gravity and resistance seals on you which will increase 20 kilos every time you get used to it and for now, that's all, he said implying that he would use those two months to plan the rest of the training by the way we have to talk he said and then began to tell the blonde about him seal that Danzo put on him and it must be said that the blonde was angry about that so he accepted that they remove the seal but at night so that the next morning he would feel better. After six hours of training Naruto went home to lie down when he arrived he ate something and took a shower when he finally lay down he began to dissipate the clones group by group so as not to fall unconscious due to information overload which worked after that he fell asleep which was used by his tenants to remove the seal. The next morning, in the morning when Naruto woke up he didn't feel very different from him but when he went to the bathroom he noticed something and it was that something had changed since now he was a little taller and his hair now had streaks of red but something that Naruto noticed was that his mind seemed to move at a higher speed since he had many questions and almost immediately he had the answers. Naruto, Kurama what's happening to me asterisk I ask a little confused by his recent reasoning ability. Karama, well, it seems that your Namikaze and Uzumaki genes complemented each other correctly, so now you're smarter since both of your parents were geniuses in every sense of the word, he said calmly. Zarko, look at it on the bright side Naruto now the training will be a little easier, he said optimistically. Naruto, you're right let's start then he said with a smile. Training, one month. 
During the first month, Naruto used his clones to study everything about the world in which he found himself and to learn Fuenjutsu, which was not difficult for the clones since with his genes discovered he became a genius of the seals even if he learned it with clones. On the other hand in the forest he used more clones to control the chakra managing to have fairly good control but not perfect according to Kurama, also managed to get his clones to complete the chakra nature manipulation exercises being able to start with basic jutsus of the five primary elements. He also achieved get used to the natural energy of that world but I noticed that it was no longer that of the toads but that of the foxes and that is because he no longer has the contract with the toads, and in the physical part he increased his exercises constantly since he got used very quickly to those who put him but he still couldn't wake up the magic. Two month, in this month I continued with the training of the previous month, thus achieving perfect chakra control as well as being able to start with the jutsus of the five primary elements, I continued to use clones to study fuenjutsu and things about that world, also in the physical part he began to use gravity seals to which he increased 20 kilos every time he got used to the weight, he also started with the taijutsu and kenjutsu training using clones to learn the postures and also to practice with them having battles with each other, this month he was finally able to awaken the magic which he found out he could use the same as chakra so he uses the same chakra control exercises to increase and control his magic reserves. 3 month. This month Naruto stopped his fuenjutsu training since he became a master in that art he also stopped studying about that world because he already knew everything he had to know and that was surprising so, he began to use his clones in other things, a group to continue his control of both chakra and magic, another that practiced kenjutsu postures, another that did taijutsu, and another that learned the jutsus of all the ranks of the five primary natures, another that began with basic spells of the five elements and another that began with the exercises of the secondary natures of the chakra while he continued with the physical part. Four month. In this month Naruto could already control his magic perfectly so he began to learn spells with Zarko and thanks to the clones he was advancing very fast, he also managed to awaken his Sharingan so he had to add to his physical training the control of the Sharingan, his clones had already learned all the jutsus of the five primary elements that Hagoromo gave him, which were technical all the ones that, existed and he realized that every time a new jutsu was created in his world, it appeared in his book automatically, so the clones only had to perfect them, and he had already already started with the secondary element techniques and had perfected his Uzumaki clan taijutsu and kenjutsu. Five month. In the five months Naruto could already use the secondary elements in a quite acceptable way, he also managed to take his Sharingan up to three volumes, he could already use the five elements in magic and he was starting with the secondary ones in which the light and the dark were found, which caught his attention, he continued with the control of chakra and magic to increase his reserves and with his training physical, then on Kurama's advice, he began to train his Keke Jenke, which were his chakra chains and his Kagura eye that gave him a great sensor capacity. Six month. This month, Naruto managed to take his Sharingan to the next level, turning it into the Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan. He managed to control the secondary elements of chakra and magic together with his Keke Jenke and continued with his physical training, which Ivan increased more and more. Then Zarko told him that it was time to learn how to use his power so he began with the dragon's training, managing to enter the first phase that was two black gauntlets with golden details and a red gem. Seven month. Naruto managed to perfect the use of his eternal Mangekyo Sharingan being able to use all his abilities including Suzano which agrees with Indra's chakra taking it to its maximum power. In addition, with the help of the clones, he managed to raise the two levels that were missing from the power of Zarko, which was that his gauntlets evolved by becoming a little longer and with more golden details in the form of spikes also managed to get into something called Balance Breaker which was a black armor with gold and red details although it was only for a limited time. 8 month. This month Naruto had to return to training with the Kurama chakra since when the fox transformed into the Jubi his control over the Biju chakra was no longer very good after a whole month of training managed to re-enter the Biju mode but this was white also managed to take it to its maximum using the Senjutsu of the six paths managing to enter Ashura mode. Imagine the white color. 9 to 12 months. In the following four months Naruto had the most difficult task which was to learn to control his Rinnegan which took him the entire four months even with the help of the clones, he also took advantage of those months to create new jutsus and spells which he perfected and with the help of the clones he managed to create five new levels of fuenjutsu being a level 20 master and by the way he perfected his balance breaker and can use it without a time limit. End of training. 
we see the blonde with red locks who has just left his house wearing a school uniform from the Kuo Academy. The reason at the time he was studying he found something about the young people in they should study more in this world than in theirs. So a week ago he took an entrance exam for the Kuo Academy, which he passed with the best grade, managing to enter the third grade, that is, the last of the academy to go to university, although he admits that it was not easy since he first had to do many things just to get Japanese nationality, when he got it he was able to do the exam without any problem so now he goes to his new school. Karama, wow, I never thought I'd see you go to school on your own since you always ran away from the academy said the fox with a smile. Naruto, well this is a new world so you have to take advantage of it, who knows, maybe there's something interesting he said thinking about everything that could happen. Zarko, certainly maybe we will meet with demons or fallen angels since pure angels never come down from heaven he said thinking but then he kept silent in mind of something hey Naruto how is it that in all this year of training we did not attract attention with all the power we used that device attract the attention of many people. Naruto, well, when I started the heaviest training I put seals that hid our power he said without further ado. Zakro, I see, he said, understanding the blonde's reason. Karama, hey puppy, and if one of those demons asks you to join their nobility, what would you do? I asked the blonde. Naruto, I don't know, my friend, after all, it's very likely that none of his evil pieces will work on me because of my great power said the blonde why the question, don't you want to join them? Karama, it really wouldn't bother me as long as they're good people said the fox but don't reveal too much he said and then lay down to sleep. Zarko, I agree with Karama-san I wouldn't mind joining them as long as they are trustworthy he said and then copied his fox companion. Naruto, it seems that Zarko took one of Karama's customs he said giving a sigh until he saw the doors of the academy well at least I'm here he said entering the place but I noticed how he would live different looks which were of lust and interest on the part of the female population which was greater than the male population which saw him with jealousy and envy wow it seems that he already attracted a lot of attention he said and then gave a smile to the girls and a look of death to the boys I think I know how Sasuke felt he said but when he went in his thoughts he didn't see where he was going and collided with a brown boy grabbing the fall or sorry, I'm sorry I didn't pay attention to where I was going he said apologetically. Issei, or don't worry about it, my name is Issei he said as he stood up maybe you're new. Naruto, if I'm new, could you tell me where room 3A is? Asked the blonde. Issei, of course, go straight on this corridor until you reach the stairs, go up to the third floor and turn left to the first room on your right he said finishing giving the directions. Naruto, thanks Issei by the way my name is Naruto see you later he said starting his way to his living room. After 5 minutes Naruto arrived at his classroom and knocked on the door which was opened by a teacher. Teacher, yes, what can I do for you, he said looking at the blonde. Naruto, good morning I'm Uzumaki Naruto I'm the new student he said with a smile. Teacher, I see, please wait here for a moment until I tell you to come in, he said, and then he entered the room and informed the others of the new student, please come in, he said from inside the room. Naruto, well here we go he said opening the classroom door and entering hello how are you my name is Uzumaki Naruto I hope we get along well he said with a smile that made the women sigh except one and we have something interesting he said to his tenants while looking at the girl with a smile. Karama, hum it seems that she is a demon said the fox with some interest and it seems that no matter how much we try to hide it, your power is felt even a little said the biju. Zarko, let's see what happens from now on. Akano, era era Rias would be interested in this he said looking at the blonde in whom he felt a strange energy. End chapter.